Okay, folks, I tried to film a review of Walt Disney's Jungle Cruise, and the vagaries of this uh, uncaring universe said, you forgot the joke. So, let me just say this. Yes, for about four months of my life, I worked at Disneyland. I, of course, lost my alarm clock during that four months. I was a temporary employee and they did not uh, did not wish to keep me on. I was not upset that they did not keep me on because you know they just weren't a good place to work at the time. Anyway, but I had a friend who wanted wanted to be on the Jungle Cruise so badly. He of course was a potato. A baked potato because he loved his weed and Another drug called Tweak. I'm still not sure what Tweak is, but but he went up there and, and uh, during his interview he said, I've always wanted to create this t-shirt. would have a picture of the Jungle Cruise on it and would say, World Famous Jungle Cruise! Are we having pun yet? Ugh, so bad. Anyway, for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase something from the company 4Ocean, like this nifty mask, which is too small for me. You know, they're into, they're into minimalism because this might get into the ocean. And this mask, you know, because I purchased it, 4Ocean has pulled a pound of trash out of the ocean. So, despite the fact that it's too small for me to wear, I can still uh, say that I did something good for the environment. And if you want there to be a beautiful Amazon for your ancestors or for your progeny to uh, to visit, you should probably hit that like button and comment on this video and share this with your friends because we need subscribers in order to save this world and this world is worth saving. So, on to Jungle Cruise. Basically, you start out with the premise of Anaconda Blood Orchid. They're looking for themselves a flower. And then you get the people from the Brendan Fraser The Mummy. You know, you've got uh, The Rock playing Brendan Fraser, and you've got this proper skinny uh, white chick, which, I mean, I wouldn't kick her out of my bed. Handsome woman. And then you've got her gay brother. Uh, that's not a joke. He is actually gay. And they're... Well, it takes a while for them to come together. But when they do, you know, The Rock's the lovable scoundrel who is, you know, a total chick magnet. The, um, the chick is the you're not going to put me in a box way ahead of my time women's lib chick who still has a burning in her loins for for the rock or the scoundrel and then you've got the you know the the gay brother who's very prim and he's very proper and you know he's uh he's not a poorly portrayed homosexual but it is kind of stuck in there to be woke okay so they're going down the amazon and just to make this more interesting they've added a stereotypical uh, German supervillain, and he wants, he wants to rule the world, and live forever, and wear fancy uniforms, and eat fancy food on his submarine, and yes, I was really hoping he was going to hook up with the brother, I thought that would have made this so much better of a movie, but that doesn't happen, uh, yes, anyway, so, so you've got him, and then you've got a third faction, who are the uh, Conquistadors, who were originally looking for the flower, who are now immortal because they're cursed, and they've turned into jungle versions of the fishy dudes from those Pirate of the Caribbean movies, you know? It's like, instead of the tentacle beard, make you look like my sister, uh, there's one guy, like, he's basically a beehive, and he's just dripping honey. And every now and again, he, like, sticks his finger in himself and he licks it because he's gross. Then there's, like, the, the guy in charge who is snakeless. Yes, he throws snakes at you and you cut him open and there are snakes. And then there's Mud Dude. And I don't know if there's only three of them. 
There may be more, but I can't pick them out. So yeah, all of these people want this flower. They're really into bouquets. And you know, so they, they, they're going to get this flower, but like they, they don't want to team up and get the flower. They each want the flower for themselves. Now look, why is this a movie that I don't care for is people forget that they cast The Rock. And, you know, one of the things they mention in the movie is that The Rock is huge. So, it's like the guys come, these guys come and like he's, he's like, Frank owes me money, is this Italian man. And, you know, Frank's like, why do you want my boat? You own every other boat on the river. And, you know, he's, he's like, okay, you've got four guys and you're taking The Rock's money. And The Rock is letting this happen, and I don't understand. Because he is The Rock, he may have a different name, but he could have tied all of those guys in a knot. He could have gone flat out Blair Witch on those dudes and built the ladder out of them. And then they wouldn't owe him, he wouldn't owe them money anymore. And then a little lot down the line you find out that there's an even bigger reason, like if this guy if the character The Rock is playing fought The Rock, The Rock would have no chance because of some part of this movie. So, so you've got The Rock, he's like, for some unexplainable reason, afraid of this dude, when it's like, he could just be like, no, bam, and the guy's head goes flying and lands in a trash can. So I don't get that. I hit something. Anyway, so there's that in the movie, and it's dumb. And then you've got, uh, you know, the, the hot chick never does any hotting, but this is a children's movie, so, so that's fine. And there, there aren't a lot of other female characters, which there should be, but I guess because this is the time it's in, there wouldn't be a lot of female characters. So, I kind of excuse that. But, you know, if it weren't for just how long the movie is, and how rock the rock is, this would be a better movie. Because if you had just, just maybe started it with, hey, I need to get down the river, and the rock's like, yeah, I'm going to get down the river. I'm going to take you down the river. And they just started there, this would have been a much better movie. But no, they've got to show that the chick is uh, able to fight, which is fine. And they've got to have scenes with her being a badass before she meets the rock. Which, you know, look, I get it. You need yourself a Mary Sue. But isn't there something this chick is bad at? Why does she even need the rock? Sounds like she could just fight her way through. I mean, she could just grab an axe and start chopping down the Amazon and eventually she'll find the, find the flowers she's looking for. You know, it's, it's silly. So yeah, what am I going to give this movie? I'm going to say this is kind of a watch if you're bored. If you're a kid or you love the rock, Upgrade that to put it on your watch list. If you need something long to occupy your children while you're having a bath or making dinner, this is this movie. Personally, as an adult, I don't care for it much. So I say I would watch this only if I had nothing better to do. Watch if you're bored. But, hey, I'm not a Disney fan, so be it what you will. I'm Richard. That's right, Randall the Rat here, and I'm back. Despite your best effort to be lazy, Richard, the owner of this channel, is still going to pay for a pound of trash to be removed from the ocean for every thousand subscribers after he gets monetized. He's paid for two pounds, he wants to pay for more, he wants to save the ocean at no cost to you. And what do you have to do? What do you have to do, lazy, disgusting, delicious human? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have to like. Like this video and comment on it. And encourage people to subscribe. Randall the Rat. Could you come over? I mean, you just, you look delicious. You know, come over. Maybe don't comment on this video, because then people will know you came over, and then I'll eat you, and they'll know. Mmm.
net human. Wow.